Alright guys, so I'm here with a video and now this is something that I don't normally do but I figured why not try to change something up. So, basically as you can see right here, I'm here to talk about the 10 Mortal Kombat characters that will have main roster spots in Mortal Kombat 11. I'm just gonna go through these guys uh, individually and just give my thoughts on them. Like, do I want them back? Do I think they can come back? All that good stuff, alright? So, um, don't, mind every, don't mind all this other stuff, you know, around this screen. But, let's get into it. So the first one we got is Chameleon slash Chameleon. You can read the, this text as I'm talking, <clears throat> but uh, do I think Chameleon could come back, whether it's the guy or the girl? I think so. I mean, he doesn't have a big fan base. I mean, yeah, sure, he is loved by some fans, but he's not like as popular as other ninjas, you know, or any other character for that matter. I do believe that it is possible for him to be to be in the game. I don't think he has uh, the highest chance. I think it's safe to say that he does have somewhat of a good chance. Now, if I had to rate his chances or her chances, yeah, I don't know who they're going to go with. Or hell, maybe they'll go with both, you know, who, who really knows. Now, what I want him back i would i wouldn't mind having him back i mean i do like the idea of him having the powers of the other ninjas if not in the main roster then maybe dlc but again well just have to wait and see so his chances i say are maybe 50 50 or her chances both chances actually 50 50 so now we got shang sung now shang sung is actually a character that i actually want back um, I mean, I want him back so badly. Like, honestly, you know, because if you look at MKX, we had Shinnok and we had Quan Chi, but there was no Shang Tsung. He did die in the story mode of MK9. But who's to say that 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 uh, he should stay dead, you know? And I see people predicting why he would come back. Um, Again, you could read this. It's pretty much says it right here. I agree, you know, because if you, if you read right here that, you know, all of this stuff and then Shang Tsung, you know, taking over Ermac's body, that is a good chance. I mean, that would not surprise me because I believe that did kind of happen in Ermac's ending where it shows Shang Sung like doing something to him and it looked like he was gonna kill him just imagining his design and, and what he could do and and hell maybe even transforming into other or morphing into other characters would be just oh my god just picturing it is just gave me chills but but the funny thing is that that's only happened one time now I know what you guys are gonna tell me oh he's been able to morph in many games yes he has more of like an mk9 most notably the thing is though in mk2 he actually um, MK2 and MK3, he actually morphs into literally any character. That's the thing because, yeah, like in MK9, you can only morph into the guy you're fighting, you know? So in both the MK2 and MK3, he actually morphed into a variety of characters, pretty much anybody. So that's what I want back, you know? And again, just imagining his design and everything is would just be epic. So Shang Tsung, I think, has a high chance up there with... A few more guys I will get to. So that's Shang Tsung. Now we got Noob Saibot. Now Noob Saibot I think is like one of the most um, pulverizing characters. If um, I'm hoping I said that right. Pulverizing. Fans are really split down. Many people were pissed off. Me included that he wasn't in MKX. If anything I feel like yes. He will be on the main roster and not uh, DLC. And obviously, you could, it sees right here, you know, the, he is a fan favorite, you know. So, I'm pretty sure, you know, Ed Boon, you know, they, in Other Realm, they will bring Noob Saibot back. Because, again, many people wanted him to be in uh, one of the combat packs. But, obviously, that did not come true. So, what better way to bring Noob Saibot back, you know. So, and honestly, the same thing with Shang Tsung. Picturing his design and just, and everything else that he could do, you know. It's just giving me chills, so. And honestly, what they should really do, now, this is and this this is not just me i mean obviously i'm not wrong on this but what they should do is tone down his moveset because honestly the thing is a few weeks ago i was actually playing mortal kombat 9 online and when i came across some new players yes they were doing the same thing that everyone says that they do when they play as noob you know so it's kind of like cabal because they said that the same thing happened with cabal where people complain about cabal being too powerful in mk i think three apparently people were saying that he, that he that he acted like not acted that he was op i guess and that ed would even said that they had to tone it down for ultimate mortal kombat 3 so that, that's what they need to do with noob saiba tone down his move said don't make the same mistake or else you're just gonna piss people off but what i want noob back yes and again just like shang Tsung, he has a high chance a very high chance so noob saiba i want him back in the game all right next up we got fujin now fujin is like my favorite character to come back now a lot of people and and you like i said guys read you could read this as, as I'm talking, but it says right here, many people were disappointed when this guy did not 
come um, into MKX well playable. Yeah, I was pissed off just like you guys. You know, I was furious. I was mad. Everyone wanted Fuji. You know, he was like the like that's the thing. Many people might have requested you know other guys like Noob, Rain, Baraka, and I did too. I'm not gonna lie. I wanted other guys like that too. But Fujin was like the main guy I was dying to have. But don't get me wrong. I was happy that he at least made a cameo in the story mode. At least they did that. But seriously, they, we need this guy back playable. It's honestly, because like he is. I mean, he's. He's like on my top 10 list of favorite MK characters, so they have to bring Fujin back. If they don't bring him back, that's just going to be a huge just F you to the fans, you know? So it makes perfect sense because now that Raiden got corrupted by the by the Jinsei Chamber, obviously it says right there, it only makes sense that Fujin could be could take over as leader of Earthrealm and he could be the guy to, to fight Raiden. Honestly, that would be epic because, you know, they both teamed up a couple of times. So what better way than to have to, than to bring Fujin back, you know, have him be the guy to take on Raiden. And honestly, that could be freaking awesome. So Fujin has to come back. If he doesn't come back, that's just going to be a huge slap to the face. Hopefully he returns. I'm not saying it's a huge guarantee, but... You know, I guess, I, I would guess, like, not 50-50, but maybe, like, an 80 or 90% chance. So, all right, next up, now we got Melina. Now, Melina, remember the clones of her in the Flesh Pits? Well, it's very possible that in MKX, that was a clone of Melina killed by Devora. Or was it the real one? Uh, because, see, yeah, I mean, if you remember in MK9, they had that uh, Flesh Pits stage, and there was a different, there was a bunch of Melinas there. So, I never thought I would say that. But... Yeah, I mean, if, if there's a bunch of clones, then yeah, I mean, maybe that was a duplicate. I mean, you never know. Yeah, not much to say here. I mean, does Melina have a chance? I think so. I mean, not a high chance, but I think a decent chance, maybe. You know, maybe, I don't know, maybe 20, 30% chance. I mean, that does make sense. I mean, you had the flesh pit and there was a bunch of other Melinas there. So I think she has a, you know, eh, maybe average chance. So moving on. Now we got Baraitra. Now... As much as I hate to admit it, I do believe Oraicho does have a chance. Obviously, yeah, yeah, a lot of people hate this guy. In the history of MK9, I, I mean, <laughs> of Mortal Kombat, in terms of DLC, there's only been one guy to become DLC and return for, for the sequel, but actually on the main roster, and that was Kenshi. Because Kenshi was downloadable, but in MKX, he was on the main roster. So I feel like if anything, they'll do that with Boraicho. Am I happy about this? No, I really am not. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie with you guys. I'm an honest guy. I tell the truth. I really don't want Boraicho back, but unfortunately, I do believe he has a high chance. He didn't die in the story mode, you know, so I think he does have a high chance. Now, what do I think he'll do? I don't know. In terms of the story, I really have no idea, but in terms of, you know, just being on the roster, yes, I do believe he has a chance. Am I happy about it? Again, no, I am not, but yeah. So moving on from him, now we got Smoke. Just like Boraicho, Show, if anything, um, they'll bring him back on the main roster. But if they do decide to bring Smoke back, I just really hope that he is brought back as a ninja. Now, don't get me wrong, I love the design as Triborg. Even though I prefer him as a ninja, I actually love that design. It was one of my favorites. But I think it's best to bring him back as a ninja. I don't know why, I just feel like he's a lot cooler. Don't give him long hair though. Like, honestly, like, at first I liked the idea of giving him long hair in MK9, but then after seeing it, eh, kind of like, just, it just looked weird. Do I think he has a, a chance? Yes. I, don't, I wouldn't say he has a high, uh, a high, a high chance like Shang Tsung or Noob, but he has a pretty good chance. May, maybe high, may, maybe even a high chance. Whoever wrote this article, um, you know, obviously you could read this. I mean, he's got a pretty some pretty good ideas. You know, Revenant, Revenant Smoke could fight Sub Zero and be defeated, and Sub Zero could have him restored in an effort to revive the Lin Kuei. Yeah, that that's a good idea. I could get the characters more involved in the story. Sub Zero, Smoke, and Scorpion. So yeah, that could happen. That, that's actually a really good idea. Would I want Smoke back? Absolutely. I do like Smoke. There's my thoughts on Smoke uh, coming back. And now we got Rain. I know a lot of people were really mad, you know, with, that Rain was not in the game. I do believe that he does have a chance in 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 uh, being in the story mode. I mean, uh, in the main roster. But would I be happy with Rain returning? No, I actually would not. I did do a video talking about why I don't like Rain. Uh, unfortunately, it was just a crappy video. I, I really don't like Rain, and I can make like a 10 minute video explaining why I don't like rain but I'm not gonna do that because obviously I don't wanna, I don't want to make this video too long I love every ninja but I just don't like rain I do believe he will return just like Shang Tsung Saibot on smoke I think he has a high chance there's my thoughts on that and now the next up we got is Shao Kahn now Shao Kahn um I really hope Shao Kahn returns because 
after seeing Koto Khan, I was I was happy at first thinking to myself like, okay, we have a new emperor of our world. It's a fresh new villain, but uh, I mean, how many people praise Koto Khan? I mean, I don't I haven't seen that many. Honestly, I would have much rather had Shao Kahn back if I would have known we were going to get Koto Khan. So, and now do I think he'll be playable? I sure hope so because usually, you know, with Mortal Kombat, the boss battles are not ever playable. Um, I mean, yeah, they are eventually, but but in, in the game, though, like, in the game that you're fighting them and they're not playable. For example, like, Unaga wasn't playable in Deception. Oh, yeah, Dark Khan from MK vs. DC, he wasn't playable. Corrupted Shinnok wasn't playable, and Shao Kahn was not playable in MK9. So, I just really hope that if he does return, that they do make him playable. If anything, I feel like they might just have Koto Khan come back, but I would just rather see Shao Kahn kill him and just uh, claim his throne again. I mean, the guy killed Unaga, so... But do I think he has a high chance? I don't know, it's kind of hard to say. I do want him back, I really do, but the chances of him cu um, actually coming back, I would say are 50-50, just like Chameleon, a 50-50 chance. So there's my thoughts on that. So Shao Kahn, I would, I would much rather have back than Koto Khan. And we got the last character, and that is Unaga. Many people, mostly the newer generation, I don't think know about Unaga, so let me explain. So Unaga basically, yes, took the throne as Emperor. Of course, like I said, Shao Kahn killed him. And he was the guy that actually dethroned Quan Chi, Shang Tsung, and Raiden in, in Deception in that awesome intro. Just imagine what they can do with Unaga is actually just giving me a lot of chills because they could do so much with this guy and especially with the graphics too. Like imagining him, uh, especially with these new graphics, I'm my god, I'm just getting chills right now. Unaga has to come back. I just really want to believe he can come back, but if anything, I feel like if not for the main roster, then hopefully hopefully at least as a dlc you know i really want unaga back it's been way too long since he's been in a mortal kombat game what do i think he would do in the story mode honestly that's kind of hard to tell i don't know what he would do in the story i don't know may i would say maybe try to take the throne as emperor by killing koto khan or something i don't know who knows guys i mean at this point anything can actually any anything can happen if you think about it imagining the his design and again with the graphics and imagine and because there's so much that they can do with him that's the thing there are so much that they can do with this character. That's all my thoughts on all these guys returning. Like I said, now let's go down the list again. Chameleon, I would say, uh, whether it's a uh, girl or guy, 50-50% chance. Shang Tsung, a high chance. Noob Saibot, a high chance. Fujin, a very high chance. Uh, Melina, a, yeah, a good chance. Maybe uh, like a solid chance. Um, Boraicho, a high chance, unfortunately. Uh, Smoke, a good or high, depending on your guys' point of view. Rain, a high, high chance, just like Fujin. Shao Kahn, a good chance. And Unaga, that, that one's actually hard to say. I don't know about Unaga, that's really hard to say. You're probably asking me, how come this guy didn't have guys like Raiden, Liu Kang, Scorpion, and Sub-Zero? Guys, we know that Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Raiden, Liu Kang, Katana, Kung Lao, and hell, even the new guys like Takeya, Cassie, Jackie, Kung Jin, Aaron Black, Devora. We all know that those guys are going to come back. You know, we all know that, okay? So that's why this guy didn't put those guys. So, but th this was mostly for guys, I think, who, who just were not playable in the game. Let me know if you guys think they will return. And if you think they will, give me some proof. You know, tell me why you guys think they will, all right? And let me know who you guys want back, okay? So be sure to click the notification button. I'm sorry, let me, let me say that again. Make sure to click that notification button. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Until then, Reckless Rich, signing out.